Hey everyone, it's Cody with Up to Code. Today I'm going to show you my 11 top drywall tips and techniques to teach you how to drywall yourself. So I figured the top 10 is just so 1990s, 11 is way better. So I'm going to teach you all my tips and tricks. We're going to run through this really fast. So listen close. We're going to go through this quick. I got a tip on just basically mixing your mud at the start. I have tips on applying your mud. I have tips on when you're taping and also tips and techniques on coating. And these are just little subtlety differences that you're going to want to learn and keep an eye out for to just note the little differences in the trowel and the knife movements. So you can do your own drywall job and you can do it really well. So let's jump into it. So tip number one, never use drywall mud or compound right out of the box or the pail. You have to thin it down with water. So when you're taping, thin it down a little bit thinner just so that it will roll under your tapes and your beads. And then when you're filling and coating, you can have it a little bit thicker. And then as your coating progresses, like second coat, third coat, if you go that far, then you can thin it down each stage after. So if you wanna watch de detailed videos on how to learn this stuff and the details and kind of watch longer videos, I have a 10 part series on how to do all of this start to finish mud and taping. But for now, we're gonna speed through this. So before you start slinging mud, it's always best to pre-fill. I have a video on 10 renovation drywall tips that you wanna watch. It's really quick, it'll show you how to pre-fill. This is the difference right here. This joint I pre-filled, this one I didn't. This is still fine, it's just got some bubbles, they'll dry and pull back later, but that's the difference. I have three tips when just applying mud by itself. So when you're taping, my general rule across the board, whether it's tapes or beads, is make sure that the mud is, isn't too thin. If you can see the drywall behind it, it's too thin. You have to add just a little bit thicker so that your tape can bond because the mud is actually what causes it to glue it to the drywall. If it's too thin, you'll get air bubbles. The second tip is just to save yourself a whole bunch of mess, don't wipe it on like that. Wipe the mud on sideways and just get it applied. That'll save you a lot of mess. Then you go like that. So this brings me to my third tip or rule when you're applying mud. Even when coating, just apply it. Get it on the wall, don't worry about it being perfect. Apply it first then get it consistent the way you want it. Right, so I'm applying it. I'm not worrying about it being perfect. You want it consistent because you don't want a bunch of mud rolling and making hills in behind your tape. Now that your mud's consistent and applied, I have three tips when taping. The first tip is don't press too hard when you're wiping out the excess mud. If you, put, if you press all the mud out from behind your tapes, it won't bond and you'll have air pockets. And they're just, they slow you down when you're trying to do your first coat. So you just gotta find that right consistency. So with nice consistent pressure, you'll get something that looks like that. So my second tip, just when taping, now right now we're doing a flat, or this is where two factory bevels come together and the tape kind of sits recessed. Rather than just taping it and having it look all janky and uneven like this, you actually go ahead, grab yourself a six inch knife, and after the tape's embedded and wiped properly, go over top of it, and we call it a pre-fill, and it fills that bevel all nice. Wipe it, wipe it decently tight, because it's taping mud, 
And then for the next coat, it's not gonna dry and cure all uneven. It's gonna go right on top of this nice smooth looking stuff. So this is my final tip when taping, and it's more of a technique tip. You'll see the difference as you, after you watch the whole video, but here, when I'm applying my mud, I hold my knife differently than when I do after the tape is set and I start coating. So when I'm applying my mud, remember the rules already, wipe sideways, don't worry about perfection, just get it applied. Then you can get it consistent after. So here's when the technique comes into play. I don't want to wipe out the mud out of either corner. So I don't want to hold it square like that because I'll just end up removing the mud. See, see that again? If I hold my knife square to the wall, I wipe it out of both sides, right? So when I'm actually getting my application properly, I actually, instead of holding it like this, I tip it away so that this isn't dragging the mud out of the other side of the corner. Notice the difference? Tilt it away, I don't wipe it out of the corner. If I go like this, I wiped it out. Don't forget, if you guys have questions, just leave them in the comments. I'm pretty good at getting back to everybody. I do my best. And then even if you're like, well, what video is that in? I'll just send you a link to another video of mine. So if you're looking for content, I can send it your way. So by this point, all your tapes and all your beads should be in place. And now we're gonna get into coating. So I have four tips involved with this one, a, a lot of technique ones, and more just application. So let's jump into it. So I never sand after this point. I just scrape all any high points off. That's a bonus for you. Okay, so again, we're gonna just talk about application. Get it on the wall and then you start getting more consistent and even to where you want. Now when you're coating, we go a little bit further and I'll show you two or three really good techniques and notice the difference in the subtleties of what I'm doing. When I'm applying the mud on the wall, watch what I do with my trowel. I start with it standing up and then as I run out of material, you'll see me gradually flatten it out to keep spreading it, right? So I made that application look easy. Not that I'm that good. But if you're a beginner, again, it doesn't matter how you get it on the wall. You could go like this. You could make, it doesn't matter. Just get it on there, apply it. Then you work at getting it consistent. So you'll want to use this technique when you get really close, but before you wipe your final couple swipes, you got to learn how to cut an edge. So cutting an edge, I'm going to put all my pressure on the toe of this trowel and I'm just going to cut this edge clean because I don't want to have to sand off a ridge. Then on this one, I just got to put all the pressure here, cut this edge so it's feathered out right flat to the paper. So this is where you get it close, then you finalize it. I'm gonna show you a list, just give you a, t a hint on the subtle differences. When I'm finishing up this butt joint, I'm rolling and I'm keeping my trowel fairly flat to the wall. I call that floating it. I'm gonna take less material off and try, just try to skim it and it's gonna gouge it less. And then the next one I'll show you when we do the beads. So in my 10 part video series, I go into detail and it shows each step broken down. So this one, we're gonna just show you quickly on how to coat the beads. The technique is slightly different. So again, you go back to application. Just get it applied. If you're a beginner, doesn't matter. You can go sideways, up, down, left, right. Just get it on there. So I followed all my own rules. I got really close. I'm gonna cut this edge. 
Now the difference, I'm not going to float this. I want this corner bead to be nice and square and flat and true. If I float it and push really hard, I'm going to bend and curve my trowel. My drywall is going to be curved. But if I stand it more square, I'm going to take off more material, but I should leave it more straight. So that's the difference. So now that we're on to coating our inside corners or our angles, that little subtle difference in the knife is going to make all the difference and I'll show you. So we only actually coat one side at a time. So again, I do my application process. If I hold my knife square, I'll actually wipe off that excess on this left side. Or I'll do a better job of it. Alright, so you go wipe the material off the other side. That's what you want to do in coating. So if I wipe my knife like this, I'm going to be left with all that garbage. Right? Now that that one side's done, that'll dry and cure, and we'll do the second side later. So there you have it, there's 11 tips. Actually next is bonus material and tips that we thought of while we were filming. There's some bloopers in there. So guys, don't forget to ask questions, and also don't forget about that 10 part series. If you wanna dive deep into every detail of mudding and taping, check that out. It's all broken down into the different categories. So till next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bonus tip, always scrape your bucket down so you don't get dry chunks on the side of your bucket. If you didn't pre-fill your angles or your inside corners, you kind of have to be mindful of which one had the gap. Because I want to wipe, I want to get this one perfect because otherwise if I do this one last, I could fall into that gap. So I want to get this side perfect and then I'll wipe that one so I don't fall into the gap. When you have a brand new putty knife, you have to sand the corners off or round them or do something because when you're doing angles and you're wiping it like this, you can actually cut the paper. I'm gonna be a little more coup. Cool. Gotta be a little more coup. Cool. How many bonus tips should I give without, you know, like, God. So the advantage to pre-filling your bevels is that way when you go to tape your angles or your corners later, when you wipe, you're not falling through those bevels. They're full and your tapes, and even when you do your beads, they'll run through nice and flat. Right? If those were hollow, it would bump through and fall into them. So there, we're at like 13 or 14 tips, so you're welcome. <laughs>